autism, you'll hear about it a lot nowadays because there's more and more children that are being diagnosed with it. Um, it's a different way of thinking. It's in the brain and they, it, it's a neurodevelopmental issue, I should say. And that just means that the way the person with autism learns is differently than you or I. When they look at people, a different part of their brain is being activated than when you or I look at people. And so they have to learn differently. And so the range, the, the, uh, the line about autism, and I don't know if you've already heard that, is that if you've met one person with autism, it means you've met one person with autism. And that means every person is different. But being, that being said, a, there's a lot of similarities. And one of the things is that um, people with autism learn really strong visually. That's their biggest strength. And so when we teach that, we teach using a lot of visual supports, little pictures that tells them where to go. Um, when there's a communication thing, it's with pictures, all those kind of things. So does that kind of answer your question? Yeah. It's, autism is like this big. But um, every person is, is unique. The most important thing, and you guys should always know this, that any person with disability or no disability, you're a person first. You're a kid first, whatever. And so it's always a person with, a person with. Um, you know, the disability, sometimes it's a disability, sometimes it ends up being a strength. There's some people with autism that are kind of geniuses geniuses in their areas and their strength is that they learn visually and that they're very rigid and they're very 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 organized in the routine and sometimes for, for a certain job that's a huge strength and so you have to be aware that it's not always a full disability um, but anytime for any person with a disability it's the person with and hopefully most of the times you don't identify the person as the disability person but rather the person who happens to have this disability. But it could be like, you know, the person that happens to have blonde hair, the person that happens to have, you know, they're really tall or they're really short. And, you know, the person who's really tall might get in the NBA, the person that's really short might be, you know, a jockey. It's all different skills and we're all different, we're all different people, so. Does that make sense? You can tell I've heard that before, huh? That's one of those things that was ingrained in us in college. It's really important to think that way. At that time, he had, um, he probably had a disability that, that was minor today, you know. Um, he couldn't use one of his arms and he had a really significant lip, limp. And in those days, he came up from Mexico. And in those days, he came up and they put him in a, in a special class just because and his brain was okay, you know, but they put him in a special class. And so just kind of that idea that he had to fight that he was okay, that he was normal. Um, it always affected my dad and it always affected um, our family because my dad would talk about it and how hard it was. And then, you know, just the idea of the, the overall prejudice, you know, my dad, my dad's family came from Mexico and so when he was in when he was in World War II, you know, he would always say, uh, you know, why do the people with the Hispanic names, because we had a Hispanic name, why did the people with the Hispanic names always have to, you know, do this job, you know, do the KP or do the cleanup over here or do the job where you have to get up in the middle of the night. And so that whole concept of being treated different whether because of your nationality, your race, or your disability, was a big deal in our family. We talked about it a lot, and that, that it's not okay. It's not okay for society, culture, to treat people differently because they look different, they speak different, they have a disability, whatever. It's just, we're all, we're all part of a big, big community. Hi, I'm Giselle Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Sammy Cuevas. Hi, I'm Alexandra Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Leslie Perez. Hi, my name is Silvana Cluizzo. Hi, my name is Anoa Uros. 